Today we dive into the fascinating world of coconut farming, an industry that not only sustains millions of farmers, but also fuels a global demand for one of nature's most versatile treasures. From refreshing coconut water to strong natural fibers, every coconut carries a story of hard work, ingenuity, and tradition. But have you ever wondered what it really takes to transform a coconut from a towering tree into the products you use every day? Let's unravel that journey. It all begins in the lush coconut plantations, where farmers plant the trees with wide spacing, so each one gets enough sunlight and airflow. In the early years, young coconut trees demand constant care, regular watering, weeding, and mulching to maintain soil moisture. Farmers often use organic fertilizers, made from decomposed coconut husks and farm waste, enriching the soil while recycling natural materials. After four to five years, these trees reach maturity, producing coconuts continuously, with each tree yielding between 35 to 70 coconuts annually. That's a lot of potential packed into each plantation. The harvesting stage depends entirely on the coconut's purpose. For coconut water, farmers pick them young, about six to eight months after flowering, when they are packed with refreshing liquid. But if the coconuts are destined for fiber or dried pulp, they are harvested much later, at 11 to 12 months, when the shells have hardened into a dry brown casing. Using long poles, skilled workers carefully detach the coconuts, letting them fall into canals below. This method not only protects the fruit from damage, but also makes collection faster and safer. Once collected, coconuts are tied into bundles and transported to processing mills. The first step is removing the husk. This heavy outer layer is stripped away, reducing bulk for transportation and giving processors quicker access to the valuable inner nut. Massive machines called dehuskers or dehaulers, fitted with rotating blades, shred the husk into fibers. Nothing goes to waste here. The long, coarse fibers are cleaned, dried, and sorted. Stronger fibers become ropes, mats, brushes, or even carpets, while shorter fibers are transformed into upholstery stuffing and insulation. Meanwhile, the leftover dust, known as cocoa peat or coir peat, is processed into a highly prized growing medium for agriculture. Farmers across the globe use it in hydroponics and horticulture for its excellent water retention and aeration qualities. To prepare it for export, cocoa peat is washed to remove salts, dried, and compressed into compact blocks, easy to ship and rehydrate later. After husking, attention shifts to the hard inner shell and the real prize, the edible white flesh and coconut water inside. Specialized machines crack open the shell without damaging the endosperm, preserving both the meat and the liquid. From here, a wide variety of products emerge. For coconut milk, the white flesh is shredded, soaked in water, and pressed to release a rich, creamy liquid. This raw milk is filtered, pasteurized, and packaged into cans or cartons, ready for kitchens worldwide. For shredded or desiccated coconut, the flesh is finely cut and dried, producing a versatile ingredient used in baking, desserts, and confectionery. Globally, over 60 million tons of coconuts are harvested every year. Leading producers like Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, and India dominate the market, supplying not only their local populations but also exporting to meet growing international demand. In Europe and North America especially, coconuts have become a staple in the health food market, with rising interest in natural and sustainable products. The journey of the coconut, from planting and careful nurturing to harvesting, processing and global distribution, reveals just how much dedication and expertise goes into every single product. Behind each bottle of coconut water, every bag of shredded coconut, and even the ropes and mats made from husk fibers, lies the effort of countless farmers and workers who keep this ancient tradition alive. Have you ever stopped to think about how those fresh, crisp, white bean sprouts end up on your plate? Behind every handful lies a fascinating journey of science, precision, and innovation. Today, we're diving into the world of industrial-scale bean sprout production at a modern Japanese factory where nature meets technology to create tons of sprouts every single day, all while keeping the process clean, efficient, and environmentally friendly. The journey begins with something deceptively simple, tiny beans. These aren't just any beans. They are carefully selected. Premium green beans are most common, though soybeans or black beans can also be used, depending on the desired variety. Each bean is preserved and stored under strict conditions until it's ready for transformation. The first stage is sterilization. The beans enter a specialized machine for heat treatment, which eliminates bacteria and ensures food safety right from the start. 
Once sterilized, the beans are cooled and washed thoroughly to restore freshness. At this point, they are completely clean, primed for the miracle of sprouting. The next stop is the growing chambers, highly controlled hydroponic environments designed to mimic ideal natural conditions. Inside, temperature, humidity, airflow, and water supply are all carefully balanced. Over the course of 10 days, the tiny beans slowly come alive, growing into long, white sprouts. Each container can yield an astonishing one ton of bean sprouts in just a week and a half. That's efficiency at its finest. When the sprouts reach the right size, it's time for harvest. But even this stage is handled with care. First, the sprouts are washed to remove any leftover seed coats or impurities. Then comes root trimming. Since bean sprouts naturally develop long roots, a specialized cutting machine is used to trim them without damaging the delicate shoots. Immediately after cutting, the sprouts are rinsed again in a water bath to ensure absolute cleanliness. Next comes sorting and weighing. Every batch of bean sprouts passes through a rigorous quality assurance process that includes metal detectors and precise weight checks. This ensures that every package you see at the supermarket contains not only clean sprouts, but also the exact quantity promised. Consistency and safety are top priorities. Once approved, the sprouts are packaged in airtight plastic bags to preserve freshness and then labeled for distribution. From there they travel to supermarkets, restaurants, and households across the country. But this is where the story gets even more interesting. The sprouts don't just stop at being sold raw. Companies like Salad Cosmo have created ready-to-eat products such as Japanese-style seasoned bean sprouts. Freshly harvested sprouts are blended with sesame oil, soy sauce, and a mix of authentic seasonings, creating a savory and healthy side dish. Each batch is tested for flavor and texture, ensuring the perfect balance before reaching customers. It's no wonder these products are a favorite addition to bento boxes, rice bowls, and even eaten as a snack on their own. But what happens to the byproducts of this process? Remarkably, even the green bean hulls are put to use. Instead of being discarded, they are collected and transformed into a unique product, green bean hull tea. The hulls are dried gently in a rotating drum, preserving their aroma and nutrients. Once packaged, they become a healthy beverage option, demonstrating how efficiency and sustainability go hand in hand. Water usage is another critical aspect of production. All the water used in sprouting and washing is carefully filtered and monitored to maintain purity. Workers, too, follow strict hygiene protocols, wearing protective gear, and operating in sterile environments to guarantee the sprouts remain fresh and safe. The entire process is a marvel of modern food production. Beans grown without soil, thriving in water and air, yielding massive quantities of sprouts in record time, and the result, a food that's not only versatile and delicious, but also incredibly nutritious. Bean sprouts are staples in many Asian cuisines. They bring crunch and freshness to soup salads, stir-fries, and noodle dishes. Despite being light and low in calories, only about 30 calories per 100 grams, they pack impressive nutritional benefits. Rich in fiber, they support digestion and weight management. Even more impressive is their vitamin C content, about 13 grams per 100 grams of sprouts, which makes up nearly 15% of an adult's daily requirement. That means these little sprouts help strengthen the immune system, improve skin health, and enhance iron absorption. It's almost unbelievable that such a small, simple sprout could carry so much value. From the meticulous growing process to the countless health benefits, bean sprouts truly embody the perfect balance between science, sustainability, and nutrition. So, the next time you enjoy a bowl of stir-fried noodles, a crisp salad, or a refreshing soup, take a moment to appreciate the journey of those humble bean sprouts. They're more than just an ingredient. They're a testament to modern innovation and timeless tradition in food production. If you found this process as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let us know in the comments what other foods you'd like to see brought to life from farm to table. Until next time, stay curious and stay inspired.